Where's he projected to go, and what do you think about Cedric Van Brand? Maybe somewhere in the third. Um, there's a couple centers ranked ahead of him, and it's understandable because he's not the can't miss prospect. The hopeful scenario in our head is that the Bears trade back from nine, and then they make another trade back, and then they have a slew of picks in that second, third, fourth round range. And plus, again, position of need. It, it's hard to spend a first round pick on a center, or, or not position of need, position, uh, positional value. That's what I meant to say. Cedric Van Pran, he's going to be a starting center in the NFL for a long time. He doesn't have uh, a hi- injury history. He's toolsy, but he's a very good football player. The the only knock on him is that he doesn't have elite guard stuffing strength. He does all the pre-snap reads extremely well. Just, you know, sitting in Chicago for so long, I was so tired of seeing shotgun snaps just go up here on the QB or bounce off the ground or fumbled on a normal snap. I just want a guy who's just played center his whole career. And that's something Cedric Van Pran has done. He is a center who knows all the pre-snap reads. He's a smart player. He knows uh, how to run the zone system really well. He knows how to leave his block for another person, pick up the second block. He knows how to go to the second level. Let's just get him and solve this issue. I'm a fan of his as well. Uh, Georgia championship pedigree knows how to win really, really good, like two, three year starter. And then something I've thought about and mentioned to Paulie a few times by now, if you're in love with a guy in the third round right now, I mean, I don't, you have 10 draft picks as of now in the 2025 draft. So if we're talking about, you know, if Ian Cunningham leaves, if another player leaves and you get a two more third round compensatory picks, I wouldn't think it's absurd to, you know, here's a third and a sixth. Let me get your, you know, late second, early third for this year. And you go pick up a guy like Cedric Van Pran. I think, I feel like as optimistic as I am that he might get drafted in like the third round, I think he's like a late second round pick. I think we're looking at a little bit of a John Michael Schmidt situation. I think somebody's going to think he's really, really good. Six, four, like three fifteen, three ten. He's like super athletic, but huge 22 years old. But like, that's a good thing for a center because they've played that position for a long time. And, you know, pre-snap reads and checks and lines, line slides are not really that much different in the NFL. They're more complex, but if you've been doing it, that's part of the learning curve. So, 